Nigerian banks respond to online outcry as CEOs discuss strategies. Have you ever stopped to think about our banking system? You know, those places where we stash our hard-earned cash and hopefully watch it grow. Well, it seems like the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, CIBN, and the body of bank CEOs are feeling a little frustrated lately. They're calling out the persistent social media criticism directed at Nigerian banks, saying it's time to give them a break. I mean, think about it. Our banks are like the unsung heroes of our economy. They're always there, quietly walking behind the scenes to keep our financial systems running smoothly. But do they get the appreciation they deserve? Nope. Instead, they're constantly bombarded with negative comments and criticism on social media. Now, I'm not saying our banks are perfect. Who is, right? But let's be real, folks. They're doing absolutely amazing. The banking sector is pivotal to Nigeria's economic growth, contributing significantly to individuals, businesses, and society as a whole. They're also creating jobs, providing financial services, and helping to drive innovation. So, what's behind all the criticism? Is it justified, or are we just loving to hate on our banks? More importantly, how does this impact the youth and our economy? Let us discuss all this, shall we? Proceed, hit the subscribe button to tag along. The positive effects on the economy. Yes, you read that right. The banking sector is actually doing amazing things for Nigeria's economy. Who knew? Here are the highlights. Economic growth contributes significantly to GDP. We're talking billions of Naira people. Creates jobs, because who doesn't love a good nine to five? Drives innovation. Hello, fintech. Supports small businesses and entrepreneurs, the backbone of our economy. Financial inclusion. Increases access to financial services. No more hiding money under the mattress. Provides affordable loans, because who doesn't love a good loan? Promotes saving culture. Save now, think later. Empowers low-income individuals. Financial freedom for all. Now, investor confidence. Attracts foreign investment. International recognition. Boost investor confidence. They believe in us, so we should too. Encourages economic diversification. Not just oil people. And supports infrastructure development. Roads, bridges, and more. Regulatory compliance. Operates under strict CBN regulations. No room for monkey business. Maintains high standards of transparency, no hiding secrets. Meets international standards, we're playing with the big leagues now. Protect customer interest, your money is safe folks, the verdict. So there you have it, the banking sector is not the villain we make it out to be. In fact, it's a vital part of our economy, so let's give them a round of applause or at least a social media shout out. Disclaimer, we're not saying the banking sector is perfect, far from it, but let's focus on the positives, shall we? After all, a strong banking system is a strong economy. Meanwhile, have you heard about the Central Bank of Nigeria's latest move? They've established agreements with countries hosting Nigerian bank subsidiaries to ensure safe, compliant banking operations, both locally and internationally. So, what does this mean for us? Well, for starters, it's a major confidence booster. The CBN is saying, hey, we've got your back. Your deposits are secure and we're committed to maintaining stability in the financial system. And let's be real, that's music to our ears. Now, I know what you're thinking. Is this just another promise or will it actually make a difference? Well, only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, it's a step in the right direction. And on that note, let's give a big round of applause to the CBN for looking out for our financial well-being. You've made our day, week, or possibly even our year. So, drive the conversations. Subscribe, share, like. Follow at Official Congo TV across all platforms. Till next time, stay informed.